Howdy everyone, Runt9 here and welcome to the Runt9 Plays May 2020 channel update where we're going to take a look back at everything that happened in April and take a look forward to everything that's coming up here in May both on YouTube and on Twitch. So first let's take a look at April and I mean I'm going to be honest with you April was definitely a down month. You know we had some issues with viewership dropping and stagnating. Uh, you know obviously had some upload speed issues some stuff like that. And, you know, we tried a few different things, and honestly, I think we had some experiments that were great learning experiences, but honestly failed a little bit. But at the same time, I also feel like I'm getting a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. We are solidifying the community that is getting built, and, you know, I'm feeling very happy with the core group of fans and viewers that we're starting to build. So, let's dive into a few specifics here. So the upload speed issues, you know, we dealt with a lot of stuff uh, with my ISP FCC complaint, getting them, you know, out here, replacing a bunch of stuff. Ultimately, it comes down to there's a lot of congestion on the node right now. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more people working from home. You've got kids uh, doing Zoom meetings for school and stuff like that. And so you just kind of have to understand that this is kind of the way it's going to be for a little bit longer. You know, I, I live kind of on the edge of suburban area and rural area, and so we're going to be at a point where infrastructure isn't the greatest. But that said, you know, I'm working around it and I, I do think that, you know, maybe just accepting the fact that I need to dip back down to 720p, turn off the variable bit rate so that we don't have gray screens, maybe drop some frames here and there, but maybe that's gonna be better than the way that we're doing it right now. So I'm gonna keep adjusting that and figuring out what's gonna work best over the next couple months until we're starting to climb out of this mess. Uh, and you know, I don't know exactly how long it's gonna last. Nobody does, but hopefully we can get a better viewpoint of where our upload speed is going to be at once you know everyone is not at home. So I talked about the viewership dropping and stagnating slightly. And this is actually the second time I'm recording this channel update because when I was talking about that in the first one, I was blaming it mostly on the upload speed issues. But when I went back and looked at things, I realized that viewership dropped immediately after the April 2020 channel update came out. And when I went back and looked a little bit closer at myself, I realized that it was the follower goal. Setting the follower goal, posting that on stream, hyping that up, and especially locking the charity stream behind the follower goal is, in my opinion, the biggest contributor to the viewership drop. And it's not that the number of people finding the stream went down. In fact, quite the opposite. We've seen continued growth in those numbers. But the average viewership has basically just locked in at the core viewer group. And there are, you'll see, you know, over these five minute spans, it'll spike but the consistency has flatlined a lot. And I think that that's because the people who already found the stream before the follower goal are sticking around, but people don't necessarily stick around and watch the stream when they're like, ah, oh, this guy is really just in it to get his followers and, you know, get paid and all that. And, you know, I think I got a little bit blinded by the Twitch affiliate goal. And so, I'm going back to there's no follower goal none of that exists we're gonna do the charity stream no matter what and you know there will be more details to come on that I, I can't really share anything at the moment because I don't have all the details yet but we're just gonna do the charity stream like it's just gonna happen forget about the follower goal when we hit 50 we hit 50 and I'm just not gonna think about it I'm not gonna worry about it you know it'll happen when it happens and I, I don't want to put so much emphasis on followers and all that kind of stuff on stream anymore. I think that it's off-putting, and I think, honestly, it came across as greedy. And you guys know I started this not being in it for the money. I got a little bit blinded by, like, hey, Twitch affiliate is within grasp, but we're going to get it. We're, like, we're going to get it either way, and I'd rather have the followers be there because they like what we're doing instead of following to make the arbitrary number get bigger. That's not what I'm in it for, and that's not how we're going to do things anymore. And honestly, just in general, you know, I want to just return to what worked in the beginning. How much fun I was having, you know, in March when we were just being ourselves and, you know, only get hype when it matters and not copying the mannerisms of other streamers that I watch. I think I kind of got in my own head a little bit like, hey, we should try to step things up and go up another notch. And that's... That's not necessarily me. You know, the energy will happen and it will happen naturally. But I, I'm overanalyzing things too much, which is very much something that I do.
But uh, I, I think that a perfect example of this is, you know, me focusing on the viewer count live is something that I, I wanted to stop. I wanted to just focus on being me and not worry about the viewer number. But I actually found the perfect counterpoint to that during last night's Friday 5x5 five five is we actually had one of the best viewer, uh, average viewer accounts we had in the first two and a half hours that we've had, uh, I mean, pretty much ever. We were sitting around like eight average viewers for a constant two hours or so from about 5.30 to 7.30. And then it just like dropped like a rock over the next 10 minutes or so and came back down to the same average viewer count that we had been at for basically the past month or so. And I, I was like, all right, well, you know, I don't necessarily know what happened. Maybe some people left, whatever the case may be. I went back and looked at it and the viewer count dropped at the exact time that I started getting super sweaty and competitive in Rocket League and started yelling and getting way too into it. And the problem is I carried that into Enter the Gungeon and at that point the viewers were already gone and they weren't coming back. And that's a situation where I'm like, man, it would have been nice to adjust on the fly. You see viewership waning? Well, how about you rein it in? How about you realize, okay, maybe I'm going a little bit too far, let's bring it back and just refocus. And so honestly, like, I'm sitting here telling you all these things and I, I just realize I want to go back to what was working before. The thing is, leading into the April 2020 channel update, we had consistent growth. Week over week, the viewership on Twitch was going up, the viewership on YouTube was going up, and it was just a nice, slow, steady incline. And I messed with the formula. And I messed with it in too many ways as well. You know, if you want to try something, it's really good to just change one variable at a time and let it just kind of work and see what happens. I changed too many variables. And, you know, this isn't to say that April was bad. You know, I really think that we had some of our best streams ever in April, especially adding in the Saturday and Sunday streams. I think those are fantastic. Uh, you know, City Skylines is a great game that has brought in more people, uh, a new audience. We had Minecraft going on co-op Sundays. And even though I, you know, I think that Minecraft isn't the best fit for me, we kind of talked about that in the Fireside Chat this past week. I want to look at it from a very positive perspective that like those were good streams to add. Very positive. No, I think... You know, we may end up playing with the timing on it a little bit, mostly because, uh, you know, my, my good friend UD Games does his streams on Saturdays and Sundays around the same time. And I don't want to interfere. I want to let him have his viewership. And then, you know, right now he basically finishes the stream and pops in. And then we see the average viewer count come up. And I, I really just want to fine tune that. But just go back to what was working before. And I'm also going to talk about the Twitch VODs on YouTube. I realize that it's kind of spammy, especially the Friday 5x5. Five five. That's five videos coming out in a day and nobody's watching them. And the average viewer count on everything else has continued decreasing ever since I started putting the Twitch VODs up. And, you know, I think that if the Twitch VODs were edited or highlighted or clipped, that would be very different. But just like, hey, here's an hour of the follower goal on stream. If I got up and, you know, took a break, that might be on there. We're going to just go back to what was working. I want to refocus on being me, being good, and just being as entertaining as possible without it being forced. And that's kind of the mission statement of May, is the only thing that we're going to change is just adding improvements, not necessarily adding too much more content or trying to do anything crazy. And so my look back on April, and, and again, it's changed even over the past couple of days. Because I, I recorded the May 2020 channel update on the 30th, and a couple things have changed since then. And they're going to keep changing, but I hope that they change for the better. So that, that's pretty much April in a nutshell. I think that it was a good way of showing me that don't be greedy, don't try to copy other people, don't change too much at once, and especially don't mess with success. We were having consistent success, consistent growth, and uh, we flatlined afterwards. We went down and then flatlined, and I don't want to do that again. 
I mean, obviously, like, you expect plateaus to happen, but you don't want it to go down and then plateau. And so we're just going to refocus. And so moving into what's going to happen in May, I am going to talk about a couple new additions, but I think these are good additions that won't overwhelm people with content like I think the Twitch VODs did or step out of our wheelhouse too much, like the follower goal and the just screaming all the time and whatnot. Like, I, I think that these are going to be good changes. So one of the things of note is, you know, we added in that uh, single game Saturday. We've locked that in as simulation Saturday. So City Skylines is a perfect example of that, but it's going to be simulation, management, economic style games, that type of stuff. You know, maybe we'll look at something like Planet Zoo or Good Company or Startup Company. Like these, there's a ton of games that fit that mold. We're going to keep City Skylines going probably for another couple of weeks, but I think by the end of May, we probably will have switched into a new game. But, you know, I really like the, the city build that we got going on, and, you know, I want to keep it going for at least a couple more weeks. You know, I'm recording this on Saturday. We got a, a, a another City Skylines three hours coming up here in a little bit, and I'm looking forward to it. I really enjoy playing that game and, you know, traffic management simulator and all that stuff. Um, in addition... I, I've been alluding to the new artwork for a while, and I, uh, I got the first little bit of the finished product, and it's, it's really fantastic. It is really well done, and I cannot thank my friend enough. Uh, Rini is just a fantastic artist. She does great work. I'm really excited to unveil it and start you know plastering it all over everything, because I think it is just really, really good. And it adds some uniqueness to this as well. But in addition, I want to increase the thematic elements of each of our themed streams because we've got roguelike Wednesdays and turn-based Thursdays, but all of the overlays and everything are exactly the same. And I, I think that it would be cool, and, maybe, and the music is the same. Like I, I want to add more thematic elements to things, add more artwork that makes each stream feel special. So that's something else that I'm just going to be working on. In addition, and I'm probably going to mess with this a little bit after I finish recording this, is I want to look at you know stream transitions. Because we've got a, a logo that ever since I first created it, I've always had this stream transition in mind. And I want to try to maybe start executing on it instead of just using one of the built-in Streamlabs things. And that, that's going to be kind of a theme of what's coming up, is I want to start getting more into what makes us unique is just doing things our own way and that's going to lead into two of the larger changes coming up first we're going to talk about top 10 videos so we're going to stop the twitch vods on youtube you know again i i think that it's just a bit much they're not they're, they're overdoing it but i do still want to provide content on the weekends on youtube more than just the single rent nine play series so what I'm going to do is once a week, we're going to do a top 10 video and it's mostly going to be gaming focused, but I have some ideas for some non gaming focused uh, concepts that I think could be a lot of fun to throw up on the channel and, you know, capture different audiences, introduce more people to us, to this community. And I think that obviously top 10 videos can be clickbaity and easy to advertise. And I realize that. But I'm doing it more just because I like lists. <laughs> I always have like top blank lists in my head. You know, I think this is top three. I think this is top five, whatever that may be. You guys probably hear me say it on stream and on YouTube and stuff like that. So basically every Sunday, uh, you know, going to figure out exactly what time it is, but probably that same noon time slot. I like that noon central time slot. That's where the, the Rut9 looks at and Rut9 reviews comes out on Monday and Tuesday. So figure probably Sundays at noon going to be a top 10 video it's going to be edited and figure you know depending upon how long i talk about things probably around that 30 minute mark because i like these 30 minute videos it's a good number for me it's easy to crank them out and then you know 30 minutes recording probably 30 minutes to an hour editing and just get that out there on sundays and enjoy that a lot and the first one that we're going to do let me double check the date of next sunday uh that's going to be may 10th very first top 10 is going to come out, and it's funny, I'm releasing the first top 10 on the 10th. Uh, that's going to be the top 10 Nova Drift upgrades, because it's one that is in our wheelhouse. You know, we, we already know how Nova Drift goes. I've got over 100 hours in the game, 
And so I have some opinions on the upgrades and that, you know, it fosters healthy debate. Sometimes unhealthy debate because it is the internet, but I think that it'll be a lot of fun to do that video. So top 10 Nova Drift upgrades coming next Sunday, May 10th at noon. And that's going to be the only new video edition. I'm going to just take the Twitch VODs back down. Or I'm not going to take down what's already up there, but I'm going to stop posting them. We're going to add in the one new video per week, and that's it. That's going to be the only major change on YouTube, other than maybe some artwork shifting here and there. But the big change, the one thing, and this is more than just May, is I'm going to start building a website. But it's going to be more than a website. It's going to be a web application. I want to integrate the Twitch, YouTube, and Discord communities. And I want to start bringing all of this into just this centralized Runt9 Plays atmosphere. And there's things like, we've got these loyalty points on stream that are really cool, but it's very limited. You know, we're stuck using whatever module Streamlabs gives us. And there's a lot of cool extensions in the Streamlabs app store, but you've got to pay for all of them. And they're also like, other people are using them. So one of the things that can make us unique is I'm a programmer by trade. I've been doing professional software development for eight years. And I'm starting to get a little bit of that itch. And I have some great ideas for ways that we can improve the Runt9 Play streams and YouTube experience and Discord experience by starting to build out chat bots, by adding loyalty points across all three platforms. You know, maybe commenting on a YouTube video gets you a, a loyalty point or something like that. Uh, maybe you can spend loyalty points to get a YouTube video a day early or something like that. You know, there, there's a lot of different options we can do. And I, I want to encourage people to be involved in the community. And... I, I think that starting to build out this web app that has a Twitch chatbot, a Discord chatbot, can pull stuff from the YouTube API, all of that seems very beneficial. Plus, it solidifies or um, I guess homogenizes the way to access anything that we do. Because right now, like we don't have a vanity URL for YouTube or Discord. So who, who's going to be like, yeah, if you want to check out Rot9 Plays, you have to go to youtube.com slash channel slash long string of random characters. Nobody's going to say that. And I can't advertise that easily on stream. And we can't get there until we have a, a, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which needless to say is a very, very long ways away if we ever even get there. But with a website, I can just be like, go to rot9plays.com slash YouTube, rot9plays.com slash Discord. And that's it. I've already got the rot9plays.com uh, domain name. I've already got it registered for the year. And I just want to start building stuff. And there's a lot of other cool things we can do with that. One of the first features that's going to be rolled out, and I would ideally like to have this done by the end of May, is the, the final system for the Friday 5x5 poll. Because right now, we've tried a couple different systems, and I don't like any of them. Especially like when we end up with a tie at the end of the night. Then I have to go edit the command in Streamlabs to roll a die to break the tie. I want to just be able to click a button in the Rut9 Plays user interface and have it be like, okay, randomly choosing from the tied things. Boom, done. And that's all I would have to do. And, you know, be able to integrate that with Twitch chat. Maybe even open the voting earlier in the day on Friday on Discord so people can start voting on Discord ahead of time. All, all of those types of things are ideas that I have. And the biggest one, you know, again, I, I want to set us apart from everyone else. And so I, I really want to build up some sort of persistent, like, RPG-style leveling or experience system. You know, we already talked about loyalty points and, you know, being able to spend loyalty points at a shop. You know, that runt coin style thing. But what if you also had, like, experience and skills and stuff like that? You know, the longer you're around, the longer you're a constant viewer and chatter on Discord. You know, you gain coin and experience. And you can go on, uh, you know, these dungeon crawl mini games in Twitch chat or on Discord. And that would be something really cool. And maybe you can find gear. Maybe, again, like you could spend coin to get videos a day early. But maybe you get to a certain level where you can unlock that as a permanent passive benefit. There's a lot of cool ideas running through my head about this. And I think that starting with just, let's get a flat website, proper links to the four main places, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and YouTube, and just homogenize all of that. 
instead of sending people to a link tree, send them to rent9plays.com. That would be so much easier to do. And because not, not a lot of people know exactly what Linktree is, you know, it's bigger in the social media space. And I learned that from my friend who has a degree in social media. But I, I think that as of the time of recording this, and we've been using the Linktree for almost a month now, that there's two views on it. Let's double check. Four views. Four views over the span of a month. I, I don't think that's good. You know, I, I really want it to be more focused on stuff that people understand. If I say, go to our website, that makes a lot more sense. You're just like, okay, it's the Rut9 Plays website. And th there's just so many ideas I have for that. And also, we can take in a lot of community suggestions as well. Uh, Adrian, one of the very close followers of the channel, has already brought up a couple ideas that he's had. And so, you know, I think there's a lot of cool things that we can do. Again, this is a long-term project. You know, we're going to roll out a lot of these features over the next 90 to 120 days. But my goal is that at least by the end of May, we'll have that flat website, no special features or anything other than links to the four main places, and hopefully the Friday 5x5 polling mechanism done as well. Because that's really the only pain point I would say that I want to correct. The loyalty points are good where they're at. I just think we can make it better. So, and again, this is just an addition. This is an enhancement. It doesn't change anything that we're doing. I want to get back to basics. Record well, stream well, have good audio, have good video, and just be ourselves. And that's going to be the main focus of May, is just returning to our roots, refocusing on just getting that slow and steady growth, trending upwards. And that, that's where I want to be. So that's basically it. May is going to be about refocusing on ourselves, on our community, on just producing the best content possible instead of trying to artificially do things. And, you know, I, I'm going to deal with the social media advertising. You know, that, that's not necessarily something that affects you guys, but just figuring out exactly how I want to advertise on social media, that, that's kind of its own challenge. But as far as the streams and the YouTube videos go, Again, I just want to I want to get back to the basic building blocks, bring it back to basics and just enjoy it again. I'm putting too much emphasis on the numbers and all of that. I don't want to I don't want to worry about it as much. So, again, just to recap, we're going to go back to no Twitch vods on YouTube. If you want to watch Twitch vods, check out twitch.tv/rent9plays. They're posted there. Um, if you are interested in the charity stream that's going to happen no matter what now keep an ear out i will do an announcement on youtube i'll talk about it on twitter and the discord i'll be talking about it on streams and that's just something where we're going to do an eight hour charity stream i mean i will match every donation dollar for dollar up to three hundred dollars we're still figuring out exactly what charity it's going to go to but she does work for a credit union that has a charity foundation and that would be a really easy just like we already know and trust that foundation. We know where the money is going. We can make sure that it goes to a good cause. And that's something that I'm really passionate about. I don't just want to pick a charity and throw the money at it. And, you know, I was even talking about, like, I, I would almost prefer that we take the money, go buy some meals and go to a homeless shelter and hand them out. Go buy some masks, go to hospitals and hand the masks out. But, you know, I think it's a little harder for people to get behind that paper trail. So having a solid foundation that we can show has done great things in the past. That's what we're gonna be passionate about. And also, it's gonna be what I'm gonna call an infinity stream, where for every $2 donated, that will extend the stream by one minute. And I was going to put an upper limit on it. I'm gonna say the upper limit is when I just pass out. If you guys are donating, I'm gonna keep streaming. We're gonna do one game every hour. We're gonna keep switching things up, different games, have a lot of fun. And so I'm gonna expect that will happen in May. 100% going to happen in May, and we'll just figure out exactly what all the details are. So just keep an eye and an ear out for that. Got the website coming in. We're going to get that cranking. We got the top 10 videos, top 10 Nova Drift upgrades coming May 10th at noon. Um, probably actually would make sense to do the top 10 at 10. It comes out at 10 in the morning. Well, we'll see. Whatever. It's 10 Pacific. <laughs> That's going to do it for this uh, May 2020 channel update. I hope that all this made sense and you realize where I'm coming from that it's like I don't view April as bad. I, I view it as I tried a lot of things and realized that I just got to bring it back in one variable at a time, one change at a time. 
So let's bring it back to where we were, add in the one change, which is the top 10, and the one change, which is adding in the single charity stream this month, and just go back to where we were, go back to the enjoyment, and I hope that you guys enjoy this as well. And I, I also want to keep figuring out my outro because I'm so bad at it, but we're going to try the outro here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know your feedback. Likes and comments are the best way to let me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribing to this channel is a great way to know that you like all the content that I produce and you want to see more of it in the future. In addition, check out the link tree soon to be rut9plays.com. That has links to Twitch, Twitter, Discord. Really just twitch.tv slash rut9plays, Discord. I, I don't have the link. Go check all that out. Join the community. Stream in five days a week. We'd love to have you. But until the next channel update, until the next episode, I'm Rut9 and I'll see you later.